David with AppShadow.com. Today I'm here with the Contacts Plus Excel app. Contacts Plus is an app designed to help you keep better tabs on all your contacts. It does this by adding extra categories that you can sort by and adding some nice search features. Uh, by default it imports all of your contacts from your default contacts app. So as you can see if I touch contacts here it brings you up your lists. In the list view here uh, you can see these little silhouettes over here. If they were, these were actual contacts in my address book, you would see photos associated with the ones that I had photos uploaded for. This makes it easy to kind of scroll through and quickly find contacts both by name and also uh, by their pictures. Uh, up here at the top we got three options from the contacts menu. You can search uh, add a new contact or send a message. Uh, this feature is particularly nice. It allows you to actually select multiple users that you'd like to send an email message to and then touch this button to send it to all of them. So that's the contacts area of the app. Uh, here we've got a nice feature called groups. Uh, say you want to keep your work and uh, friends or whatever uh, separate so that you can view them quickly and find people. Uh, all you got to do is just uh, set your contacts that you want in each category and you can make as many categories as you want and easily rename any category. just like that and I've got a different name category to add any contact to a category all you have to do is select that contact and then click add to group and select the group that you want them in hit done now one thing I did notice is it would be nice if there was a way to unselect uh, having assigned someone to a group say you don't want them in any of your groups uh, you can't do that from here. It is possible to get rid of them, but what you'll have to do is actually go to the groups and manually remove it from there. Just like that. So that's groups. Uh, over here we have categories. Uh, there's a variety of options and different things that you can enter in uh, information wise for your contacts and this allows you to quickly find contacts base, based on any of that information uh, bringing up any of these uh, will sort your contacts by uh, whichever uh, you might want over here you got the birthdays you can uh, see whose birthdays are coming up I don't have any birthdays entered in right now though uh, your favorites, uh, basically just like the actual one in app, but this uh, with this you could potentially have a second favorites list if you wanted. Uh, the keypad here is a very nice feature. Uh, have you ever had a number that somebody called your home phone or work phone and you didn't know who it was uh, and you wanted to see if you had it entered into your phone? Well with this, uh, all you have to do is just start typing the number and it uh, brings up live feedback for numbers that match that. Uh, I've entered in one number in my address book with a plus here so you don't see my numbers. But um, So that's how that works. It's actually quite nice and uh, actually makes it real easy to uh, find numbers as well. Um, over here you got your just regular search feature which is also live. So as you type uh, contacts come up and all you have to do is touch one from here and you can access anything from there. So there really are quite a few features in this that aren't in the default contacts app. Um, it depends on how many contacts you have and how much need you have to separate them and to sort them into different categories uh, whether this app is worth it for you. Uh, there's a few options you can set down here. Uh, you can set your start page, uh, default search, 
and several different things. You can change your theme color to something else. Uh, but as I said, all in all, uh, it's a very solid app. I didn't have any problems with it, no lockups or anything. Uh, the search functions are very quick and uh, do a good job of, help, of helping you to search even through a large uh, list of contacts. Uh, the app is currently for sale in the App Store for $1.99. And uh, if you'd like more information on it, uh, check out my full review at appshatter.com. There'll be a link in the sidebar. Uh, to this side. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this review and uh, have a great day.